Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Huber, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a topic that I get asked all of the time, and that is how to get faster at 3x3. So I average about 10.5 seconds on 3x3, and I've been cubing now for just over 10 years. And yet, I still feel like I've honestly barely scratched the surface when it comes to 3x3 speed cubing knowledge, so I've never really felt very qualified to give advice to people. Of course, I haven't put in nearly as much practice time or spent as much time learning new algorithms and new techniques like the fastest cubers in the world have, so I tend to just recommend people wanting to get faster to those people, the ones that are faster and more experienced than I am. However, there's a huge amount of CFOP tutorials, tips and tricks videos, walkthrough videos, all that kind of stuff out there, some of it being really good, some of it being pretty terrible, and I can totally see how someone could get just overwhelmed with the huge amount of information out there and not even know where to start. Some people looking to improve as quickly as possible might go for something like a coaching service, like what Jaden McNeil does or what Derpy Cuber did recently. Basically, you would send them something like an average of five and they would go through your solves and tell you ways that you can improve your efficiency and give you specific advice on how to improve based on what parts of your solve may be lacking the most. I actually got this coaching service from Jaden McNeil recently and he gave me some really good advice on how to improve my solves. Some of the things that he pointed out in my solves were things like the lack of cross plus one planning and inspection, uh, my very inefficient F2L solutions, and just my overall lack of creative cross building. And of course, he didn't just point out the errors, but he also gave me a very specific step-by-step -step improvement plan and practice routines that I've started to implement into my daily practice. And even after just a few days, I'm starting to see some great results. But what I really want to talk to you guys about in this video is a step further than all of that and that is the Speed Cubing Solution course by Jaden McNeil. Now, I think this is pretty much the most comprehensive, informative, and just truly helpful CFOP tutorial you're ever gonna find. There's over 12 hours of content in this course, and it goes through every single step of CFOP, and it honestly, you're pretty much guaranteed to get faster. Like, if you actually go through, follow the practice routines, follow the steps, it doesn't even matter how fast or slow you are. Like, if you don't know CFOP, this course will teach you CFOP. If you're sub nine, you'll definitely still learn things you didn't know. The other amazing benefit with this course, and I think honestly it's main selling point, is that you get unlimited coaching from Jay for a full year. So as you're improving, you can send Jay averages just like I did, and he'll tell you the steps you need to take to get even faster. Now that's not all there is to this course, but before I get into more of the details, I wanna show you guys a quick interview I did with one of the Speed Cubing Solution students named Brian. So Brian took the Speed Cubing Solution course earlier this year, and he started at a 12 second average. And after six months, he was able to drop all all the way down to a sub nine average. That's honestly insane to me. Like three years ago, I think I still, I was just broke the sub 12 barrier and I'm still like 10 seconds. Like I'm not even sub 10 yet. And he was able to get from a 12 to a sub nine average in six months. That's pretty amazing. So I wanted to talk to Brian real quick and get his perspective on the speed cubing solution course, kind of get his thoughts on it. So here you go. All right, so I am here with Brian, and Brian took the Speed Cubing Solution course earlier this year, around January to February, is that right? Yes. Cool, cool. So how long had you been cubing before you started? I started in around March 2019. That's cool. So like, what kind of practice were you doing? Like, what kind of, like, how much targeted practice were you doing versus just normal solves? Like, was there a certain strategy that you took to that? Normally, I just do some solves, but like when I tried to implement cross plus one, just doing solves didn't really help. So I just take as long inspection as I needed to and just do a, do cross plus one blind. And sometimes when I'm, when I'm on Discord, I just drill some F12 or last layer algs. Cool. Like, did you have a specific practice routine at all? Yes, yeah, kind of. It was, it was kind of all random. Mm -hmm. I just do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good strategy too, you know. For a lot of people, it's it's probably better to just cube when you're motivated to and not when you're when you have to or anything like that. So go going through the whole course, what part of it do you think was the most helpful for your improvement? I would say the F12 section, there were a lot of helpful F12 logs and theory on F12 look ahead. When you went through the F2L section, how much of it do you think like you already were pretty familiar with? Like how much new stuff was in there that you did not know about? Like all the last slot stuff, I've already known the solutions, but for the empty slot cases, like when there's two or more slots free, like keyhole stuff, I didn't use much of that. Like basically just a lot of F12 algs that aren't a lot that aren't really known yeah yeah like watching through the course even some of like the really advanced f2 l videos that i've watched there was all kinds of stuff in there that wasn't in any of those videos so how much do you think you like took advantage of the other benefits of the course like did you send averages to jay very often like after you went through the main course stuff like as you were going to keep improving 
I think I sent around like three to four averages to him. Awesome. And like, would you say that as you went, like the advice was getting more and more specific? Like, I'm just curious, like how did the advice change as you went? Jay just gave some tips on how to improve and use your time productively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely really important. So the the most recent critique he sent was mainly just fo focused on cross and cross plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, I realized that cross was kind of my weakness. My F two L and last layer were were pretty good. The solutions were pretty good. My cross is kind of bad compared to the rest of my solves. And how would you how would you say your cross is now? Like your cross plus one, especially like are you pretty much able to consistently plan it in inspection? I'm pretty much. Yeah, I can I can plan it in inspection, but sometimes it's just kind of inefficient. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, that's awesome. That's that's some that's some great improvement. So, what would you say is like your best piece of advice for someone just starting the course now? Like, what would be uh, wh what's like the right mindset maybe that you need to have going in to really get the most out of it? I'd recommend to probably take things slowly. When I first went into the course, I kind of just tried to rush everything. Like I didn't even try to plan cross plus one. I was averaging low 12 and that's where you should probably start planning cross plus one. But I just went straight to F2 all and I kind of got overwhelmed. So I'd recommend just taking things slowly, go at your own pace. That's really, yeah, that's definitely really important. Um, when I was watching through the course as well, I was just kind of rushing through it. And I think I missed a lot of important stuff and I, I, probably would it probably would be good to watch through it a couple more times well thanks so much for uh, for talking for a little bit i really appreciate your insight so yeah thanks so much so yeah pretty cool story uh and there's a lot more stories like it i know another guy that went from a 20 second average to a 10 second average using the speed cubing solution course in i think roughly the same time frame like six seven months and if you go to the speed cubing solution website there's a lot more stories just like this so like i said there is a lot more to this course and i am going to get to the details but first i just want to tell you guys a little bit about who Jaden mcneil is for those of you who don't know so he is one of the best all-rounders basically meaning that he's really good at pretty much every event. I think around between mid 2016 to mid 2018, Jaden had the lowest sum of ranks for single and average in the world. And if you guys don't know, sum of ranks is literally just the sum of all of your ranks. So obviously the lower that number, the better, right? And so for about two years, Jaden had the lowest sum of ranks in the entire world. As of right now, I think he's like seventh for average and like fifth for single, something like that. He has really gained a reputation for really just being one of the most knowledgeable cubers out there. Like as far as I've seen, his three by three knowledge is pretty much infinite. And he has a lot of technical knowledge too. He's very good at analyzing solves, breaking them down, pointing out which parts were good, which parts were not good. So it makes him a really good teacher, a really good coach. He's been doing his coaching service for a while now, not just for 3x3 too, but for other events. He also has a free email newsletter that he's like constantly sending little nuggets of 3x3 information with. And he also has a bunch of YouTube videos too, some of which are very, very high level that totally go over my head. But anyways, enough about Jay. I want to go more into the details of the course because you get a lot more than just the course. So the course itself is broken down into five weeks. So week one is basically just the fundamentals of speed cubing. Week two is all about finger tricks. And there's even some finger tricks in there that I didn't know after a decade of cubing. Then there's another week all about cross and how to plan cross plus one F2L pair in inspection. Then there is the most dense week, which is F2L, which starts from beginner F2L and goes all the way through the most advanced F2L techniques you'll probably ever need. And then the last week goes through every single OLL and PLL case and shows you different algorithms from different angles, the best algorithms, the best executions, and just how to truly master each case. And the course includes not just videos too, but PDFs with practice plans and all kinds of algorithms, just lots of great stuff. And as for all of the other stuff you get along with the course, you get the one year of unlimited coaching from Jay, like I said. So not only that, you also get access to a speed cubing solution discord server. So you get a chance to talk with all of the other speed cubing solution students you also get a full year of email access to jay so you can ask him any questions you want along the way and finally you also get access to a bi-weekly q a live stream with jay too so you have literally every opportunity in the world to get every single question about how to get faster at 3x3 answered now i myself have really only had access to the speed cubing solution course for a little while so i haven't really yet had a chance to go through the full plan that jay has laid out in the course but i'm really confident that with this course and jay's advice i'll finally be able to break that sub 10 barrier that I've been slowly moving towards for the past decade. And that is really, really exciting for me. Getting sub 10 has kind of been an impossible goal for me. I never really thought I would hit it, 
but now I feel like like it's finally in sight. I'm getting pretty close to a sub 10 global average and that is really, really exciting for me. So that's why I wanted to share this course with you guys. It's helped me already and I haven't even had access to it for very long, so I'm sure it's going to help you guys if you're interested. So the enrollment period for Speedcubing Solutions starts right now, September 1st, and it goes all the way through 11.59 p.m. on September 6th, so this Sunday. So if you're interested in Speedcubing Solution, make sure to sign up for it right now. You only have a week to do so. If you miss it this time, I'm sure you'll still be able to sign up for Speedcubing Solutions sometime in the future, but for right now, as of this video being posted, you have one week to sign up if you're interested. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I'm sure you're wondering how much this all costs. And the Speedcubing Solution, with all of the benefits that go along with it, is $297. Now for some, that's gonna to be totally out of their budget and that's totally understandable. But I think with the insane amount of content, the full year of unlimited coaching and email access to Jay, you really do get a lot for a one-time payment. And there is a full one-year return policy. So if you go through the course and you follow the process and you really don't see any results, you can get your money back. So anyways, guys, if you are really, really serious about improving at 3x3 and really want the best quality of information out there, this is pretty much gonna be your best option. Fair warning though, this isn't gonna be easy at all. Your level of improvement will solely depend on how much work you put into it. If you set your goals high though, and you practice smarter, and you listen to the advice of the more knowledgeable cubers around you, you're going to see results. But it's up to you. Even this course, with all of its benefits, will only take you so far if you don't put in the work. So if you guys are interested in Speedcubing Solution, the link will of course be in the description. You have until 11.59 p.m. on September 6th to sign up. Anyways guys, that's about it. Thanks to Jaden for sponsoring this video. I honestly don't think I would have heard about Speedcubing Solution if you didn't reach out. And now that I've gotten a chance to watch through it, I can seriously highly recommend it. It's super good. Like I said, it's already been really useful for me. So I hope it's gonna be useful for you guys as well. Anyways, if you guys wanna support the channel, you can like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn notifications and use code JRQ at thecubicle.com for a 5% discount. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.